Okay, so uh, this is a tutorial on the hair that I have right now. It's a quick weave and um, it's got the invisible part. I'm going to show you how to do the invisible part, how to do the closure. Here's the closure here. And um, I didn't really do anything to it yet. I, I just cut a little bit and flipped it out. But um, I'm probably going to get it um, cut and layered so that I can curl it right later on today. And I'll probably put up pictures so you can see what that looks like. Alright, so I already started. All, of, all I've done so far is I parted my hair and put it back in a ponytail in the back. And with the ponytail, since I have hair that hangs down so you don't get that lump back there, I fanned the hair up this way and I spritzed it down so, it, so it'll stay and it'll be flat. You don't have that hump in the back. So I've already put down two tracks so far. When you put it on, you're going to want to curve it up so it makes like it's more natural flowing when you curve it up than doing it straight down. It doesn't look as natural. So you want to measure it. And with doing this invisible part, you want to make sure that you're not going over your part. So what I do so I can see my part, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I have spritz on there, but I scratch it so you can see what, so I can see where the part is. And you cut it. Make sure you cut it from the track to the hair. That way you don't cut the hair off of the track. Or not as much anyway. So, when you put the glue on the track, you want to do it on the part where you, on the side where you can see both of the tracks. You can see the two the two tracks stitched together. You don't want to do it on this side. It makes it more flat when you put it down like that. You want to be careful with these up against your hair because you don't want to cut your own hair. Just snip a little bit at a time. should stay on your own um, on your head after you're cutting and I just cut it a little bit because I don't know how far back I want my own part to be here is where I usually get the glue. If you get glue at all on your own hair, I usually get it right here because I want to try to get it as close as I can to the part so you don't see my own hair. So I already got that part done so far. Like I said, 
And I'm gonna show, uh, it's not all the way done, I just did it up a couple of rolls so you can see what it's looking like. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some of them on this side. I pulled my hair back into a ponytail. So that's out of the way. Let's split this one. Just so you can see. This is a um, track that I had glued by mistake. I glued, I, I mismeasured, so it's got a bit of glue on it. It's not usually this hard to get it, get it, um, get it split. You have to cut through some glue. I don't believe I throw away no hair, so. And when you split it, it have the little pieces from when it, where it was sewed. You just pull those out. Because you don't want them to stick out. You measure. You try to get as close to the part as you can. Alright, so. Try to get it as close to the part as you can. Clean up the glue that gets in the middle. Measure. And when I when I put it on there, I like to kind of curve it up a little bit. So like I said, when you're putting the tracks back here, it's the same thing. It makes it covers the hair more when you do it like that. Cause if you put it like right on top of each other, it's gonna, it's not gonna cut, it's gonna cover, but it's not gonna be as good. Cause when you pull it back like this, the hair that's on the next track, it'll like drape across it and cover up the tracks better. <clears throat> All right, so kind of curve it up. You want to clean up your glue as soon as possible because you don't want any black pieces, black glue in your part. And kind of, when you put it in, just kind of curve it up just a little bit. It's just a little, it's very subtle, so. But see how it's covering, you can't even see the second track because of that curve. You got the curvy hair. finish it up until around the closure and I'm gonna show you how I do my closure so I'll see you when I get done I'm done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do I do my closures okay you put your glue on like you're gonna do put it on but not so much what I do is You want to roll it up. See? About like that. Okay. Let it dry for a little bit. Go ahead and turn it the other upside down. Well, it's going to be, this is going to be the top of your hair. And what you want to do is you want to press it. You want to press it. See? I don't know if you can see it very clear, but that's what the closure looks like after it's done. You, can, you can't see the track at all. This is the top of the closure. And this is the bottom. And you just put glue on it. And then you... Then you put it on top of your head. 
Right, then I'll show you the rest when I'm show you the finished product when I'm done. 